so far we have an input, a digital input and an output. Now we're going to put in a process and this is weight. We double click on weight and on this weight we can put how many seconds we want it to wait for. So I'm going to put in two seconds. OK. Now what I want to happen in this program is that when the decision is high or the switch is on, a light will come on for two seconds but we also need it to come off again after two seconds is up. So to do that we're going to put another command in, an output command, but we can copy this one and paste it underneath. And then we double click on this and we come up with a control panel and we then need to click that output off and then we can label this light off. Okay. Right now we're going to join these commands up by linking them with a line so that it acts like a flow chart. And to do this, we right click the mouse button, start line, and then hold down the mouse button and just drag a line down. Right now I'm going to put a loop in, so I'm going to put another line in, start line and drag it up to the top again and link it to the start. Now you notice on this digital input decision command has a yes going down. Now if I draw another line in there you'll see that no appears. Now what I've created here is a feedback loop now what this means is that if the decision is not high, no, it will then follow the arrows round in a loop until the decision command is high, yes, then it will go down to light on, wait two seconds, light off and then back again. Right, to see this program running, first of all I needed to select the digital panel which is this icon here. Now this digital panel actually shows the ports for the inputs and the ports for the outputs. Now when I select F2 on the keyboard of the computer you will notice that port 0 is indicated. Right now I'm going to select run the program which is this green icon at the top here, like a triangle. And now you'll see that the program's running and it's going around in circles until I press F2 of the keyboard. Right now if I press F2 on the keyboard you'll see that the output of the digital panel, the, the light will come on for two seconds and then go back off again. I'll do that one more time. And we're now going to look at how to use procedures. But we need to drag on a do procedure, a procedure and an end procedure. Right, we now need a decision and two outputs. Right, we're going to put the outputs over here in this column and the decision under the start column. Right, I'm going to design a program that when the switch is pressed a light will flash five times. But first of all we need to name the procedure so we go to the procedure command double click 
and we come up with this box and in this box we're going to type flash okay. now if we go to do procedure and double click on that we go to the drop box and select flash Right now we're going to go to the decision box, double click on that and as before we will select port 0 as on and we will call the decision switch on. Right, in the other output we're going to just give it a label because it's already switched off and we're going to call this flash off right we now need a wait command which goes in between flash and flash off and we're going to give it a wait of one second. Okay.